Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, no her. Let me start. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. What's that noise? I'm Whitney, and this channel is sometimes I vlog, sometimes I do sit down videos, sometimes I do challenges. It's just a little bit of everything. Whatever I'm feeling like at the moment is what I film. And so I'm sure you can tell but this video is gonna be like a little update video because if you've seen not the last video but the video before that it was like coach stroke or something I called it um, and I filmed a little bit at the hospital and I said that I would keep you guys updated and like film daily but I did not feel like it um, so I did film a little bit the second day and I'll insert those clips now good morning guys that was a long night I fell asleep at 345. <laughs> trying to take a video and you have to flush the toilet. Okay. Okay, we'll go at 420. And then, uh, and then I, um, don't know what I'm saying. Oh, okay, I woke up here at 6. And then fell asleep. And now it's 830. And breakfast is here. Doesn't that look delicious? There's my sis. So, I'm gonna go eat breakfast and watch a movie. And then, we're gonna go from there. Hello guys, it's me again. Um, we got my ammo. I'm moving my thumbs in the way. We got all the results of everything so far and everything's still good. So we're think they're gonna test for seizures. And if and they're giving me magnesium because my magnesium is low, so that could be causing the muscle spasms. But like my brain is good, like MRI and CT scan was. I need to do a second urine sample, a stool sample, the heart ultrasound, and the EEG. So they told me I'm gonna be here one more night with this hair. Um. So that's where we're at. I just took more Tylenol. I got my IV covered where I can take a shower, but I'm about to have to start a magnesium and fluid trip. And then I have my lunch, and I'll show you that. I got a grilled cheese, sweet potato, pears, a uh, cupcake, I don't know, and tea. So, that is what I'm about to eat. As you can see, I didn't film too much. Um, I don't even remember what all I said, but I'm just going to give you guys a like diagnosis I guess or whatever like a summary of what ended up happening so I, as you've seen in the coach stroke video I went to the urgent care they sent me to the ER then that hospital called a coach stroke or whatever they did a few tests decided I need to go to another hospital that had like a bit better neurology place so they put me on a neuro and spine floor at that hospital and I had an MRI done and I had a bubble study done in my heart and I had a um, echo on my heart and I had an EKG and I had an EEG and I had like all these test runs and blood tests and urine tests and everything and everything came back negative and that it was okay so the neurologist came and examined me and he he was like yeah like it's you're still tremoring on your right side and it is a little weak but um have you been stressed and I'm like I mean nothing more than usual I don't think but I just I have anxiety and so Every time you say you have anxiety, they want to blame everything on anxiety. And at this point, I was, like, pretty convinced. Like, even going in, I, knew, I was like, I don't think there's anything wrong because if it was something major, I don't know. I was just, I was just like, uh, I just don't think there's anything really wrong. Um, but I'll go ahead and let them run the test. Might as well get it all done while I'm here. That way I know that I am in, like, good health and that everything is okay. Um, so I had all these tests run and they were all negative and like I said the neurologist was like yeah it's obvious that there's a little bit of weakness on your right side and there's a tremor but I don't think it's anything that's not going to like fix itself over time. Um, like I had a two skull studies done and they all were good. I had an evaluation with the speech therapist and I was good. I had an evaluation with the physical therapist and I was good. An occupational therapist. Um, I was cleared by everybody. So eventually... I was like, the only new stressors that I've had is I moved out of my parents' house for the first time. And I'm taking care of my grandmother. And he's like, well, that, that that's stressful. He's like, that could do it to you. So they diagnosed me with a conversion disorder, which is just like when you get 
stressed or like overstressed, you have symptoms of a stroke, um, but it's not an actual stroke. So there's like no long term, I guess you would say no long term effects or nothing that's going to stay permanently. It's just going to come when you're overstressed or when you're stressed out. Um, so that's finally what they diagnosed me with. But then he was like, but your face is really swollen on the right side. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Because I have an, so I have two teeth back here that chipped off. No, one chipped off and one has a big cavity in it. So I went to the dentist the other day and they want to do a root canal on this one and they want to extract this one, like take it out. And so I was on antibiotic for him. And I had just started it a day before all this started happening. So my thing was, so it like literally hurts all here because the nerve is like, um, the tooth that's broken off is exposing the nerve and anytime, like it's just so sensitive. So up here it hurts even the whole jaw, this, and then up into my ear and then it hurts my head sometimes. Um, like I'm having to take ibuprofen and Tylenol around the clock, take an antibiotic, like all this. And he was like, well, let's see if we can get the oral surgeon in here to look at you to make sure that it is a tooth infection and that we're treating it properly since it's not improved since you've been on antibiotics. He was like, because I don't want that infection to spread to anywhere else in your body. And I was like, okay. So then I'm sitting there and then the general doctor comes in and she's like, actually, we're just going to discharge you because since you already have a dentist and an oral surgeon, just follow up with them since they're already treating it. And like, this is what conversion disorder is, what he's saying it is because there was no sign on your MRI, like a... Um, MS or a mini stroke or a stroke so we think you're okay no they didn't say we think you're okay like you're okay for now there's this just follow up with your general doctor later so that's literally all that happened I was in the hospital for three days for stress and I was like well this is a good mini vacation I mean get away so um yeah and like I said I kind of figured it was going to be that and I'm glad it was nothing else like I'm okay everything's fine I'm better now. I don't shake. I can like use my arm. I can use my leg. Like I'm perfectly fine. It was just, I don't know. So that's what happened. That's what went down. I'm um, good now. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. I'm gonna make it. Oh, I guess I should mention also is they said my magnesium was really low and my potassium was really low. So they started an IV potassium and magnesium drip and fluids. And after all that got in my system as well, the tremor started going away. So they said I had went on a night hike the night before. Um, it was like a two hour night hike with my friends. And they said that that could cause like your muscle spasms and like weakness and tremors if your magnesium is low. But they didn't say like what caused it or whatever. I just went ahead and took like, I'm not really educated on this, but I went ahead and had some magnesium put in me, and it burned like heck. I'll let you know that. For sure, it hurt. And they gave me a blood thinner shot. So, I was taking aspirin all the time while I was in there. And then they gave me this blood thinner shot, and I kid you not, it hurt like freaking crap. When they give, they gave it right here in my stomach, and when they give it to you, it doesn't hurt. Initially, she's like, oh, does it burn? And I'm like, no, I'm okay. Like, that felt fine. And literally, as soon as I finished saying that sentence, it hurt so bad. I was like, I cannot move. I'm going to have to go to sleep because then they started the magnesium and it was burning. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, this hurts super bad. So I had visitors coming. So I texted him and I was like, hey, just so you know, if I'm asleep when you get here, wake me up. I'm trying to sleep off this pain really quick. But yeah, I still have a freaking place for my IV. And it's been two weeks. It'll be two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. And I still have bruises because... The um, original hospital was using my um, IV as access for my blood, but then the second hospital was taking my blood every day or morning. I don't know. Um, and using like the butterfly needle or not. I don't know what it was, but they were just taking it out of this one too. So I didn't have a stroke. I'm okay. Conversion disorder. That's what they said it was. Everything's good in the hood. I'm fantastic. Thank you guys for praying for me. And keeping up with this and I will see you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed this video it was just a short little video just trying to explain everything that happened and what went down and I'm good now and I'm ready to go with this content because I told you guys I was gonna be releasing so much content and then I got sick and then this happened and then that happened and life's been crazy but we're good we're back better than ever ready to do this so um, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment down below some video suggestions because 
I need some. But I love you guys and thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.